tfdirect.com. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? This is Hans, um, and today we're going to be taking a look at Autobot Whirl. Um, it's from the Thrilling 30 line uh, from Transformers. You can get this guy from TF Direct. Um, they have him for $14.99, which if you ask me is a hell of a deal. Um, so of course here's the back of the box. Tech specs down there at the bottom. IDW. Uh, part of the Thrilling 30, like I said. And then, you know, you got your different modes that he's got. The Hello Ped mode, whatever you want to I would call that a jerwalk mode, but a uh, helicopter mode, and then of course him in his bot mode. This side of the box, he's got zero two there, and then down at the bottom, it's got a picture of Double Dealer down there. That's actually a pretty cool looking figure. But yeah, this is a figure that I think um, I don't know. I liked it because he looks so different. He does not look like a typical Transformer. He looks very unique, um, and in that aspect, I really think he's he's really cool. Um, but let's go ahead, let's get him out of the box, and I'll let you know my thoughts. So here he is outside of the box. Let's go over what he's got here. So we've got his instruction sheet, full thing here, covers all the different modes, um, and obviously instructions on how to transform him. Looks pretty cool. And then on the back down here is something you don't see with too many transformers anymore. Um, if I can open this thing, there's a sticker section down here showing you where to apply all of his stickers. See, those come with quite a few. A sticker sheet. Got a missile pod here. So he can bring the pain as it were. Um, I don't, I guess another set of rockets? Ginsu knives? I don't know what you want to call this thing. Another set of missiles there. A uh, Gatling gun or minigun. Not Gatling. <laughs> Not Civil War era. Uh, and. I don't know, like a uh, thing, shock robot maybe, I don't know what the hell this is, but you get this too. So um, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and I'm going to sticker them up and then we'll go through the review. Uh, I, I do want to say just, I mean, general first impressions of him, I like how he looks. Um, he's got a crazy stance, I mean just his shape is so bizarre compared to other Transformers that are out there. Um, but overall, I like how he feels. Joints feel really tight right now. But uh, give me a few minutes, and we'll come back to this, and then I'll let you know exactly what I think. But first impressions are good. I like how he looks. All right, guys, here he is all stickered up. Go through a few things real quick. Um, head is on a nice ball joint. So you can kind of get a good little range of motion. The antenna thing here moves and closes down. And what that does is that actually on the back here, if you look, let me move that back, that's where his light piping's at, so it can kind of close it off. Um, and I'll show you that here in a second. Up here on his head, he's got that little antenna that moves. And what you can do. See that antenna, when you move it forward and back, stay still, it covers up his uh, light piping port. So when you open it up, it exposes that, and there you can see his light piping coming through. I thought that was kind of neat, you know, not necessary at all, but something kind of neat that they did. Shoulders are on this weird kind of arm thing. Uh, they hold their poses pretty well, but they're just kind of odd. Um, 
the hands, if you want to call them hands, these little claws, they're actually geared to where they move together. So you move one, they move both. Um, legs, um, well, hold on, before I get down to legs, you do have a bicep swivel up here. And um, it does allow for a 90 degree uh, double elbow bend, well more than 90 degrees, but it is on a double elbow joint there. So you do get a nice range of motion there on that. Legs, you got a thigh swivel, upper thigh swivel. Um, you got a nice bend at the knee. And you could, I mean, you could rotate these thighs all the way around and use this as the front of your foot so you get a regular knee, but that just looks weird. And then you have skis are hitting each other if you do something like that. Um, as for his weapons, the way that they mount up, the best way to probably do it is you can take these here, like say this rocket pod, attach it to his skis right there. Uh, we'll take this rocket pod, we'll do the same thing, attach it on. Take this here, now this here, whatever this may be, gun or whatever, what have you, um, the way that it's intended to work is you take this claw, flip it back, and I mean you could do it on either hand, but you take that, flip it back, and then these little tabs right here, they go right onto this. So you take that and just plug that right on there. That holds that there. Now for this one, he's got a port right here. You can take his Gatling gun and just plug that in like that. Then you've got his Gatling gun and he's completely armed to the teeth. Um, <laughs> kind of a little bit much weight for those to hold on to, but um, yeah, I mean that's that's kind of how you pose them in robot mode. You can you can get some really cool poses with him and just in the nature of his movements and everything else. But yeah, no, he's 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 an awesome looking figure. Um, let's go ahead. Let's go into transformation. Take all this stuff off him. this claw close it back up I'm gonna close that port that I was showing you for the light piping it's on the back right there close that up take this part here this rotor move that back up open this up just a tad get this to move here so funky in there. Whenever you're untabbing this part, there's there's two little ports inside of here that this blade actually hooks into. So bring that out, down. And what you want to do is take this, rotate this up to where those halves are covering his face now, and then bring this all together, this whole assembly should rotate up and over. Tab everything in. Close that up like that. And actually, I guess since we are here, his legs are on a slide mechanism. So what you can do is you can take this, slide that back, move the legs back, Give him to where he's kind of standing a little bit there. Take this part and for, tuck it down in, just like that. Open up those. And there he is in his uh, gear walk mode. Um, for whatever it's worth. I mean, it's, it's kind of cool, I suppose. Hold your pose. That arm, one arm does not want to cooperate. 
So yeah, that's another mode that he transforms into. It's just kind of a mid-transformation mode. But it's something, I guess. I mean, I guess they knew people were going to do it, so they gave it to us anyways. Let's go ahead and let's continue with this guy here. So, close back up the hands since we did open those up. There's, if you look in here, since I moved those hands back, there's a port right there with a the tab. Just gonna peg those in along the side. Go ahead and move this back, your rudder, rear rudder, until it clips. That seals up pretty nicely there. Rotate this. You want to make sure that this is kind of in line this way because it's got to collapse upon itself. Move it up. Tab that into there. Leave those arms just to the back like that. Take this leg piece, slide it back forward. Bring that back. Rotate this around. Oh, forgot the feet. Take the feet, push that back in. You don't want to close it all the way back up yet. You got to slide this whole piece forward, then close it. Same thing on this side. Rotate that around like that. Take the foot piece or the heel spur, kick that out. Like I said, you don't want to close that all the way up. Slide it forward, close it up. And what you'll see is once you get these back up like this, you see this little tab right here? That's going to go into there. So you want to bring that up and around, and then tab, there's that tab there, and there's a tab right there on the th import take thruster, whatever you want to call that thing. Come on. There we go. And that holds everything kind of in place and secure there. So again, same kind of deal. Close that up. Bap. See, and then that that clicks everything nicely into place. Split your rotors. And it's got a nice little satisfying tab there. And now we've got him in his whirl helicopter mode. Um, cockpit does open. If I can get it to open. It's got a little nice seat in there with some nice molded detail inside. Um, it did come with a bunch of these stickers. They kind of added a bunch of like nice little details to them. It's uh, really cool. I mean, it just came with a lot of extra little things on there. Um, for the price, I think he's a he's a hell of a figure. Um, and then if you want to like weapon him up. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> you can do like this cannon. You can plug this onto that rail right there on the side. You could put this up front. There's a peg hole right there. And you can put it on the other one. You can put it from there or up there. Take this missile rack again. I think the best way to do that would probably do it like this. Get that on there. This one, not sure what you could do with that. I mean, you can still you peg that on something else. I don't know. Um, it kind of starts to get kind of ridiculous with weapons at that point. I don't know. I don't know what I'd do with this guy. Because his uh, arms are the ones that would hold it. It shows something like where you could put it 
um, over the back back here something like that but it doesn't go that way I mean I guess you could try and hook this onto the ski but I don't know if that's wide enough so all in all I don't know I don't know how you'd put this guy up but you could mount it off the side over here you could click it there or click it down in here and just have it as an extra piece um, for his guns but whatever the other problem with putting the gun on f up in front is that look at that look at what it does that's ridiculous it's all tilted back what the hell is that but whatever kind of basic black guns I wish they kind of gave you a little bit more detail like maybe painted some silver in here something along those lines just something to make it a little bit more give it a little bit more pop but um, all in all I think this is a great figure he's a lot of fun to transform I do not like that he has this hollow gap right in here uh, that kind of bothers me but he's solid uh, this isn't very free to spin or anything like that you know it's, it's cool it's Generations World. Um, I was going to say, you can get yours at uh, www.tf-direct.com. I believe they got them for $14.99, and they were doing a special, and they may still be doing that, where you can get it with uh, uh, with shipping for $4.99 on top of that. So, like, for, what, like $18.98 or something like that, or $19.98, you can get this guy um, shipped to your home. And I think he's actually a really cool deal. He's actually a really cool transformer. Very unique one, especially with the way his legs are. Um, his single eye. I mean, just everything about him, is it, it screams uniqueness. And it is a very uh, distinct figure. So, yeah, go ahead and order yours. Or pick him up at the store if you get a chance. He's really worth the buy. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace.